Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion 2 with me, Get Daved. I remembered what game we're playing. Oh, hold on a minute. Looks like the mouse don't want to work for me. There, I fixed it. Alright. So, last time I <laughs> kind of pulled a crazy dictator and just declared war. Well, no, that's not exactly true. I just sort of attacked the Mercians and I didn't really bother declaring a state of war. I just kind of did it. Um, and we're living with the consequences of that now. So let's see what happens. Uh-huh. Okay. Only two ships. Oh, wait. Three ships. Um... And they have, oh yeah, Mercian crews are super elite as well. They've got mad skills, everybody. Watch out. I'm not exactly sure how this jerk has a 210 beam defense, but I think the game still thinks he's cloaked. He is cloak. Yeah, it's added 80 to his beam defense, so that's kind of stupid. I guess we'll go after the other ones first. Is probably toast. Make sure we don't fire. Th there we go. Yeah, good. And now go after the next easiest target. I accidentally fired the point defense weapons. Kind of wish it were a little harder to do that, but yeah, the bombers are virtually useless. They're actually a lot less effective than. Um, Interceptors would be kind of annoying that I got the tech um, Because my best bomb is a nuclear bomb Which as we all know is the worst Oh good well, That was the most dangerous ship left Good work everybody. I think you're gonna do it Boom Say it, I'm the Boom King. Select combat at cervix. Yeah, the Mechlar, whoops, that guy still had guns to shoot. Mechlars are so much easier to fight. That's okay. Going after the Mercians was all about the fun. I hope you're all enjoying your Let's Play. Music? I clicked too fast. Form an alliance? N no. Now's not a good time for me to get tangled up in other people's affairs. Hyperspace Beast ate one of my ships. Always nice when that happens. I'm totally cool with that. Uh, we'll get them doing that and we'll see if they're still alive after. Good enough. Okay, now Simone. Simone. It's blown up. There we go. So their fleet is yonder. If we lose Suji, I don't really care. We If they go after Manita, they're going to be tangled up there for quite some time. I'm going to make a Gamblo, which is like a gamble. I'm going to make a gamble that they're coming for the Mechlon system. Holy crap!
Oh no, I guess he got reinforced by a smaller fleet. I was gonna say, that hyperspace beast. He want food. Let's go for the Mechlon system. And, uh... Oh, actually, you know what? They could also go through the wormhole and go straight to Serva. I'm okay with that. We just got that system. And, you know, it's not valuable to me. Let's take a look at the spying situation here. We've almost cleared them out. Of useful tech, I should say. Assault shuttles would kind of be nice. Haven't seen much of the Antarans, but if they pop their heads up again, it'd be nice to uh, take a stab at stealing some of their technology. Although, honestly, it probably... It, it very well may be a doomed effort. Hmm. Sarkomond. What's the name of the evil wizard in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's go scan this real quick. Oh man, oh. When I finally have appropriate amounts of firepower, they're totally not ready. Well, I may have lined this up poorly, but yeah, I can't quite board it. You can board from pretty far away. And honestly, that was kind of a wasted effort since we're just going to bypass their armor altogether thanks to the Achilles targeting system. and hard to hit this thing. Oh! You're going for the Avenger, huh? You'll pay for that. I'll take it. And somewhat annoyingly, Grack isn't with that fleet. With a name like Grack, you'd think he'd be dependable. Put that name right next to Gort in terms of the reliability spectrum. All right, more Mercians. Always nice to have you. Well, it's all right to have you. Okay. So they didn't go for Mechlon, or they didn't arrive yet. Uh, also, I'm just going to have to double check my fleet composition here. Oh, ETA one turn. Okay. I did have an acceptable distribution of leaders. They're just not ready to help out quite yet. Um... Guess I'll push the offense. It worries me that, uh, actually, you know what? Let's do one quick check. It worries me that they have colonies so close to my territory. Uh, they don't have star gates, so that's nice. They only have jump gates, so one of the things I was worried about is that they could fly their ships without me knowing to Draconis. And then from there, you know, have their way with me. Make me their proverbial bitch. Not something I want to happen. They don't actually have that many star systems left. Or 
turns, three turns. Gonna have the fleet warp to Terrazad. No, I'll go one better. Go to Ciro and then try hitting Draconis. Because I don't think I have any planets that can get there in one turn, so... You know what? Good reasoning, Dave. I'm just gonna go for the more valuable system. I have been in situations where I've been facing an opponent that I can't really stop on the offense, and the situation is to just rip them to shreds with your own offensive fleet and let Rome burn behind you. But I don't want that to happen because there are... I am still fighting a war on two fronts. Okay... Ooh, they can do it in one turn. How delightful. Probably thanks to Lochnar. The Lochnar monster. Just gonna send a couple ships to Orion because we probably have... I'm gonna send a couple more. We probably have more firepower than we need. Unless we encounter their fleet, I suppose. Coming back for more of the same at Ursa. Okay. Oh. Well, that sucks. So we won't be able to take too many turns of that. Or will we? Not bad. Those are no doubt horrible torpedoes. Yeah. Still not that great. The antimatter torpedo is just a weapon that... I don't know. It's too big or something to be really that good. Thanks to the cloaking device bug, we can't really go after any of these guys effectively, so I'm gonna go for the little one. Okay, now I'll go for a big one. goodness. That might have been the battle right there. Because if that took out the computer just now, the starbase is essentially useless. Yeah! And it's got the battle scanner. That's what I care about. Boom. That's okay. We still might be able to take it out. Yeah! I'm surprised they're holding back at me like that. Alright, barrier shield. This is going to be interesting. So, the Avenger is instantly the most important ship. I'm going to have it wait on its first turn. We're going to get someone else to do the dirty work. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, and blow up the entire ship. Or, battle station. Fine. Yeah, no point. Okay. Well, everybody move in. I was hoping to capture it. Uh, yeah, I, I probably should have done a couple things differently. Oh well. Uh, I was hoping just to take down its shields with plasma cannons, and then death ray at once, kill everyone on board. And I wanted to make sure I had enough firepower left on the death rays, but I mean... Oh, a lot of things could be could have been done differently. Okay. Those warheads are obviously going for the Avenger, so... Oh. What a bad decision. Okay. They have elected to go after... 11 damage, right on everybody. Yeah, they've decided to split up their offense, that's fine with me. I should really be saving, yeah, whatever. Hold.
hold nothing back, boys. The death rays just aren't going to be making a big difference overall. Spatial compressor can probably take out a couple of those guys. I'm going to warp behind it. Really? And apparently I can't use my bombs. <laughs> this game. Oh, you. Okay, let's try this one more time. Still can't drop bombs. Now I can. Apparently they're forward only. That's fine, we got the damage we needed. Just gonna do a quick scan. They're armored, ECCM, and fast, so basically all of them are gonna hit. Oh, one important thing to mention. I was using Merving Nukes way earlier in the LP. Um, that's a good idea, but one person brought up the point that you can give them the fast property as well, very easily. Yeah, I never do that, but it's a good idea, so um, do as I say, not as I do. And I say, do it. Boom, there it is. Oh, look at that, we are getting some damage through the shield. Well, I'm showing no mercy. Combat at Serpens. Nice big fleet, that what I was expecting to... Well, uh, maybe not expecting. Hoping to encounter their fleet with. These guys are a bit better suited to go after them. We've got the knight. Those phasers are totally not for going after um, planets, but I was just being lazy there. All right. Um, I probably won't be able, well, no, I definitely won't be able to capture this in time, so. Oh, they're toast. I'm just going auto battle on this one. I wish I could blow up planets. And in this game, it would be helpful if I could do that too. I'm Captain Grack. Don't believe Ondor's lies. Okay. We'll give one point for that reference. Thank you, Serpens. Ooh. Wah, Prime. Kind of tempting to export some of these guys to Orion to join my interspecial utopia but maybe we'll wait until we've crumble or made their empire crumble I only have one marine here that's probably gonna be a problem also it's kind of a good planet good work homeworld Okay. Yeah, that was this fleet. Okay. We'll unload corps here. Nope. I totally caught that mistake. There we go. guess as to where the fleet's going to be next. I'm going to leave those guys at Orion. Also, the Lawden system is apparently tapped out. Well, 
is the population so low here? Oh well. Think nothing of it. Oh, we've got a core waste dump on the way. Okay. Guess I'm just working on upgrading production here. Uh, probably would be better to keep focusing on transports, but maybe someone else can take over for a minute. Like you guys. They're never going to get around to it. All right. It'll be nice to have the one they churn out every once in a while, though. I guess I'm going to keep pressing the attack, because the odds of them coming after me on their territory are probably just as good, if not better. I'll go for this planet first, because I think it has slightly better upside, and yeah, less likely that it was well defended. One shot, probably enough. Open fire on your own planet. Oh, they're so done. Beauty. Please give me technology. Oh. I feel like I've had unusually bad luck for uh, invasion tech. You usually get one about once every... Oh, at least one in three, that's for sure. I'm so sad. Yeah, yay, inertial nullifier. That would probably... oh, good. The inertial nullifier would probably be pretty effective against uh, most of my opponents, actually. It gives you really good beam defense. It's actually more useful than a cloaking device, but it's going to be super huge, so... That's what she said. Both of these planets are borderline useless, but that's okay. I'm just glad they're around for the ride. And Orion, we do get a lot of do get a lot of research out of here. Um I think I'm going to get them just going nuts on research, just because the output is so huge, and that is, like, a very significant contribution to the overall GDP of research, the overall research pool. Try getting a couple more knights out there. Oh, jeez. point rushing for that. Oh yeah, I should probably rebuild that uh, battle station at Ursa. They'll be back. Good. Ursa. wonder if they kept coming for this planet because it's so easy for them to access. Their jump gate would really speed up their arrival time. And you know what, I'm just going to buy it. Because we've got more than enough money to spend. Serpents fell. 
don't really know what their next most valuable system is. Actually, I can take a look. Huge Terran. Medium Terran. They've obviously got terraforming. Ooh! Now that. That's a treasure trove right there. And it's right next to Orion. It's pretty dangerous to let them keep having that place. Uh, I will probably... Regret not going after it. Here we go. Eight battleships. And I would have to fight them. Ooh, and they have ground batteries. This is going to be interesting. We probably won't win. And again, it's the smaller fleet. Yeah, all of their stinking cloaking devices. Do we have any knights? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna do the usual drill. Just try boring a hole through them first. Sometimes if I get really into the micromanagement of the battle, I'll have them focus their non-enveloping weapons all on one target. But uh, usually I don't get that into it. And they've got the barrier shield. So this is almost certainly going to be a defeat anyway. It's a relatively easy one to take out. Seriously? Oh, I went about this all wrong. Oh, good. Forgot I still had some ships from up top. Ooh. Getting some nice bonus damage here. Okay. And the Avenger, I'm gonna pull back one more time. And your one death ray. Well fired, sir. The reason I'm taking such great measures to uh, save the Avengers because, uh, one, you know, the movie, The Avengers, but also, oh man, gotta keep my eye out for those with the, cat, with the Gauss cannons. Worth the extra effort of tracking them down. Um, the Avenger is basically my best bet for doing real damage to... Uh, any immersion planet that has a barrier shield. It's... well... it's easily more effective than ten of my other ships. Just based on how fast it can get there, the fact that it can take out a battle station instantly and use its weapons against a planet, provide an extra target for the planet, um, last a little bit longer thanks to the damper field, I mean, all sorts of reasons. It's kind of interesting they've chosen not to rush me. I guess most of their weapons are range agnostic. Alright. Now there were a couple ships that were more dangerous than others. Like this jerk. I'm a little afraid to go too far forward though. Because of this. Stop! Don't keep going! Alright. Just gonna pause the recording real quick.
And I'm back, okay. Also, I'm gonna take the chance to fire some of these weapons. I don't... Wish you could directly scan those missiles. I think those are from the planet, though. And... Those antimatter torps are dangerous. Good beam defense, though. Maybe they won't hit. That is the nice thing about using inertial stabilizers. I mean, I've kind of gotten away with it in later run-throughs, but uh, they are actually quite good. I'm secretly hoping one of them does the big explosion. Nope. Come on, drive system. There we go. Not exactly how I wanted it, but whatever. Wait. Yeah, those phasers are a lot more effective than the fusion beams. Not that we should be surprised by this. Oh, that one did all right. Dang it. Kind of regret firing the death ray there. Oh well. And by the way, it should be stated that the death ray, it's all branding. It sounds way better than it actually is. I mean, it's a pretty good gun, but you can't miniaturize it, so by the end of the game, yeah. Almost. Oh boy, hope those took out lots of fighters. They didn't. Still, I'm pretty happy with how well my fleet's done so far. Maybe I spoke too soon. I think some of those ships are going to regret coming into close range. Okay, we're almost through the worst of it. There we go, we're on to the little guys now. For those of you who want context, my ships have about 2,000 hit points each. But once their armor goes down, they'll rapidly, uh, well, you, you can see, this. Probably should have spent some time going after the cruisers. Those are some of their most dangerous ships. Okay. So these guys are all on their last legs worth it. How did that... Yeah, whatever. Probably an elite crew. Okay, I'm going for it. Oh, I want that one dead just on the off chance that they don't have survival pods. Uh, good. Good. All right, those will probably be the death of this ship, so I'm not gonna move it. I don't like to move it, move it. 
expected, and have a good night, everybody. Should have put in the extra effort to track down those other Panther fours. Still, we took a really good bite out of the Martian fleet. I can outmanufacture them, and I took it. I lost eight of mine. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I should have seen this coming. In retrospect, I should have run away with a ship other than the Avenger. Well, if it survives long enough. That seems doubtful. What a nasty twist. Lochner! Yay, I got a salt shuttle. It's totally worth it. Well, everybody, Lochnar is dead. Uh, I'm going to end the recording here. I'll see you in the next video.